Good afternoon. Today we are going to talk about a technology that is a lithium ion battery that can be substituted by sodium ion battery technology that will power uh, solar and wind energy can be stored very effectively. Now there is a huge market for lithium ion battery technology as every individual on this earth possesses lithium ion batteries in their cell phone, laptops and so forth and so on. So today's energy density is around 150 watt hour per kilogram and the similar energy density can be achieved from sodium ion technology. And the sodium is inexpensive and abundant so eventually your batteries are going to become inexpensive. The market for this technology is around 30 billion dollars. So the project we are going to talk here is one of the electrode material that we have made for sodium ion battery technology that is sitting and powering this, uh, those batteries. So the technology is towards com commercialization where we took the packing peanuts that you get it in your uh, packing and those packing peanuts could be used or they could be brand new that can be converted into carbonaceous material. The beauty of this material is it provides you a thin sheet like architecture and that architecture is unique to store the sodium ions in the batteries such as shown here. Namely, larger scale uh, material is produced from packing peanut and eventually we made a battery in collaboration with a Faradian company which is in UK and those batteries are working very well as, a, as can be seen here. Namely, you can look at the number of cycles versus the capacity retention. More than 300 cycles, this sodium ion battery is working. That means more than one year of charging and discharging when you charge a daily basis. Only 15% capacity is lost. And same thing happened to your uh, even cell phone. 15% uh, capacity could be lost from lithium ion technology. So this sodium ion technology is very similar or comparable to the lithium ion battery sitting in your uh, cell phone today. Only thing is it will be slightly bigger as sodium is bigger than the lithium ion. So the battery could be two to three times bigger. However, it is cost effective technology for storing solar and uh, wind energy where the battery can be charged and discharged uh, rapidly and it is well proven technology. There is no third party obligations to license this technology. It is available to anyone uh, to license and utilize it for variety of applications. Thank you.